Okay, Saberforms fans, today we're going to go into how to convert your downloaded files into a sound font. Now, I'm going to assume that you've downloaded your font and you've gotten a zipped file. Well, that'd be RAR or it'll be in a zip compressed form. We're going to start out. I have one here that's zipped. It's the Emperor Font Darth Saber Zip. And if I click on it, What's going to end up happening is going to show me all the files, and it's going to give me the chance to extract them, and that's what I want to do. I'm going to go over here. I'm using Windows 8 and say Extract All. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. It's going to ask me if I want to do that. I hit Extract. It does its thing. Now, when I go back to my little folder where I had placed that, the font folder, I'm going to see that I have the zip down here. But then I have another folder of it unzipped. It'll say Emperor Font uh, Darth Saber, but no zip. That's what I need. I need to unzip it. Now from there, you can't just go ahead and say, okay, load that onto my lightsaber. It won't work. By the way, for today, we will not be actually loading it onto the lightsaber. I'll tell you how, but I'm not going to deal with that. I just want to talk about creating the font and making it loadable. And you don't need a lightsaber to do this. We need to go into the Obsidian Soundboard, click on Sound wi Sounds Wizard. Now you'll notice there's no banks available. That's not important for what we're going to do. What we need to do is create a font that then we can load onto the lightsaber. So we're going to start getting sounds from that unzipped file. Now the first thing I'm going to say is tag and boot font. That's the what it's going to do. That tag boot sound is what's going to happen when you turn it on or when you're selecting through on a V4 soundboard what's going to what sound it's going to make. Now right now that file's empty. So what I want to do is I'm going to go um, to my desktop I'm going to go to that font folder. I created that. You can create your own. Uh, this has all the different font sounds but we're going to use the one that we just unzipped which is that Emperor Font Darth Saber. I'm going to open that up and I've got a bunch of LSU files. That's how we make a font. You're basically kind of reassembling it in the sounds wizard. So the first thing is I want a boot sound. Now I have more than one choice in this case. I'm going to listen to one. And the thing is, even though that little red thing's flashing, pay it no mind. It might be a little slow on me. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little slow, so bear with me. Once it kind of catches up, it's going to play the sound. That'll be the boot sound. Now I could choose this one or I could choose the other one. If you want to listen to them, just put it up here and then hit play and you'll get to hear what that sounds like. So we're going to hear it in a little bit. My computer's a little slow. So while I have you here, while it's still loading, there's an area here that'll say used that's important. Right now it's at 245 kilobytes. Um, that's the actual space that the font will take. So as you start adding sounds, that number's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. If it's bigger than your bank, you won't be able to fit it. Now, in all fairness, I heard this earlier. I'm going to keep that one. Now I'm going to go to my power on sound. What happens when I press the button and turn my lightsaber on? Uh, it actually, many of these fonts will give you more than one choice. Uh, this one also gives me two choices. I have power on one, power on two. Uh, I'm going to go with the power on one. Sounds pretty good. But if I wanted to change it, all I'd have to do is click that file, it reopen it up, and I could go to the power up two. And the neat thing is most of these LSU files will say exactly what they are. And if I want to hear what that's like, that sounds pretty powerful, so we'll go with that. Now I'm going to go with the power off sound. What, ha what sound will it make when I turn it off? Once again, it'll give me choices. I'm going to go with... Sounds good. That's power off. You can listen through. I just don't want to make this video very long. Then you go to your idle sound. What is it going to sound like when it's idling or humming. Some of the fonts will say idle LSU, some will say hum. This one says hum, and it gives me two different options. I know one of these was really loud. I think it was the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Let's see how it sounds. 
Yeah, that's a good idol. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go into the motion sounds. And the motion sounds gives you, I think, a maximum of 12. It depends on how many your particular font has. The motion sounds are the ones when it's not hitting something. They'll say swing or they'll say motion. Um, in this case, mine has six. I'm going to start with the first one. Load that bank. Go to the second one. Load the second swing. Go to the third. And you get the idea. You just kind of load those up. Four. Now this one has one that has a swing clash, which means that it, it swings, but it hits something. I'm not a big fan of stuff like that. I have a clash. Uh, shoot, where am I? Just cancel there. Uh, we're on the fourth. No, we have three, four, so I need five here. Sorry about that. Wasn't paying too much attention. So I have one, two, three, four, five. And I'll put the sixth one in there, but I'm not going to put in the swing clash. And that covers my motion. What's going to happen was just moving around. Next is impact sounds. That means the sounds when it hits something. You'll see it'll usually say impact or it'll say clash. So this one has swing clash. Um, and I can go from this one, I'll, I guess will be my first. And then I'll go in and go into the swing one. And then I'll just follow it up. Swing two. Go to the next bank. Swing three. Go to the next bank. Swing four. Go to the next one. Obviously that's going to be swing five. And then I'll finish up with swing six. As I said, some of these may have as many as 12. So you'll get to choose which ones you want. And if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. If after you load it and you still don't want it, you can disable it. Just click there and it's disabled. That means it won't load. It'll also drop the number of kilobytes in the font, or in the, yeah, in the Sabre font. If I put that back, it's currently at a 106. I put that sound in, it's not uh, 1048. So if your ultimate sound font is too big for your bank on your lightsaber, you can actually reduce it by taking out sounds. Now I do need a lockup sound. I think this one gives me more than one. This, uh, this font choice is giving me a lot of different choices here. I do have two different lockups. I'm going to listen to the first one. If it'll let me. It's going to be difficult. Well, that's why it's not highlighted. You have to highlight that sound. If you highlight an empty bank, it's not going to play anything. That sounds pretty heavy. Let's just see. Um, I can be selective about this and still do it pretty quick. So there was the lock up one. Let's try lock up two. See how that sounds. That one sounds like it has some voices in it. Not my favorite choice. Some people like when there are little sayings and stuff in things. I, I don't care for that. So I'm going to stay with lock up one. Now I'm actually almost done. I'm going to go to write sounds. Now normally it would tell me, you know, I could put it where I could put it in the lightsaber, but I can save it to my computer. And that's what I want to do. I want to save it. So I'm going to go where it says select a name and I don't want obsidian font. I instead want, oh, give me a second here. Emperor. Sounds like a good choice there. Now when I go to save it, It'll ask me for a name, once again. And I'll save that. And here's what you got to remember. before Now I could actually load that font into my, my uh, lightsaber. Now I want to make something very clear. I'm going to go back to my windows here. If I go into that file, the Emperor Dark Font Saber, you're going to see all the same LSU files, but you're also going to see this one. Emperor.lscfgx. That's the one you're going to select to put on your lightsaber. That gives a reference for your lightsaber to pick up all those other sounds. And that's what it's going to look for. So if it can't find that file, it'll tell you, hey, there's nothing here. So make sure you save 
when you're done doing your font, you save it. And when you save it, it'll put it back in the folder with your font. And as I said, that's what it will look for when you plug in. So I hope this was helpful to you. I know there wasn't a video like this as of, um, as of my saying it. So I just want to do that so that when you're downloading fonts, you'll have a little easier time converting the fonts and being able to load them directly into your launcher. Once again, at this point in my launcher, I could just say, okay, uh, if it said load font, I'm going to go back a step here. Actually, I'm going to go back here. See where it says no device, but it'll say you can load a font from your hard drive. That's where it's going to look for that LCA, uh, that long file, uh, but you can load it directly from the hard drive. Um, so once you have it plugged in, it'll say, and you can just load it. Once again, directly from your from your hard drive, but it's going to look for that completed long file. Okay, hope this was helpful to you. I know it would have been helpful to me if I could have found it. And I'll see you on the forums. This has been Lord Ramirez. Take care.